We often waste our energy by acting on a whim or impulse, losing time and money in the process. Life coach Simone Naidu stresses the importance of purposeful personal development, as she explained when we met up in Josie. Simone has suggested to Kriya that they meet at one of her favorite spots, which offers something for all tastes and personalities. Simone Naidu believes in developing yourself holistically, your mind, body and soul. And today we get to meet at the perfect location, an organic food market. Simone? Kriya! How are you? Good to meet you. Good. This is a beautiful little spot in Josie. Why do you like it so much? I think because mind, body and spirit, everything's available in the shop. It's right down the road from my office. But actually, I want you to come and try some of their amazing fresh pressed juices. Shall we go? Yep, let's go. An order went in for two tall glasses of fresh, cool goodness. It looks like our smoothies are here. Yes, mind men. Thank you very much, sir. So, Simone, you've now gotten into personal development, which is quite an interesting career choice. How did that begin? Well, it didn't actually begin there. I think I did what most people my age do, which is basically go and study a really good degree at a good university and get a good job. But really, in the first year of being in corporate, I realized that there was this chronic dissatisfaction I saw with people, and no one had passion for what they did. So, I got myself a life coach, and I asked her two things. I said, firstly, help me figure out what my passion is. Because everyone had it, whether it was cooking or fashion or music. And I didn't know what mine was. But lo and behold, it took me two years of my continuous personal development and working on myself for me to figure out who I am and therefore what my purpose is. And then you took the big leap to start your very own business. That leap was really gigantic. And I think because for the longest time, I was avoiding asking myself really important life questions. And I remember I avoided the mirror for, I think, a week because I didn't want to admit to myself that yes indeed this was not the right space for me to actually be in. And I know your office is just around the corner. I'd love to go and check it out. So let's finish up our drinks and take a walk. Deal. Simone has put as much effort into preparing for her new calling as she did when studying for her original career choice in the world of finance. What's more, she can tap into her own life-changing experience which helps her to offer practical advice to her clients. Hey Kriya, so this is On Purpose's offices. I'm so excited for you to see it. This is very exciting. Okay, so Kriya, here we are. One of the main things I do in this very office is see life coaching clients. What is life coaching? I like to use the analogy of a sports coach. They'll train you, set goals for you, help you harness your skill to become world class. Now, I don't know one person that doesn't want to be successful at life, and that's exactly what a life coach will help you do. I know you hold a workshop called Heal Your Life. What is that all about? It's a two-day weekend retreat that really helps you dissolve mental barriers, release any blocked emotions, and really begin the healing process for yourself. I am trained to help people figure out what those mental and emotional barriers are that sometimes are caused by being victims of abuse that sit in the body, that sit in the mind, and really affect us later on in life. One of the methods that you use is meditation. Now, there are a lot of myths surrounding this practice, and I know you want to debunk them for us. I think the first one that plagues us as 21st century city dwellers, I don't have time. And that is absolutely insane. Five minutes right when you wake up or just before you go to bed, literally sitting in stillness, eyes closed, and just connecting with your breath. And boom, you're meditating. The second one is that I have to be a certain religion. I have to wear certain attire. I need to sit in a particular way. I need to chant mantras in languages that I don't even understand. Meditation, albeit that it has its roots in many Eastern spiritual philosophies, belongs to no religion. The third myth is that I just can't quiet my mind. The minute I go in, I've got this crazy chatter. My advice to you here is use a guided form of meditation. Hearing the sound of someone's voice can take you into your mind and therefore help you learn to control your thoughts, which is ultimately what meditation will do for you. I would really like it if you can take me through a guided meditation. Kriya, I'm going to take you out into the garden, teach you a beautiful guided meditation for you to let go of what gives you sleepless nights. I need to change into something a little bit more comfortable, so I'll see you out there. All right, let's go.
Okay, Kriya, we are here in my garden and I think nature is the best place for us to actually do a meditation together. The first thing when you're meditating is get correct posture. So sitting up straight is really nice. Now this is called a lotus posture. That's because we want to breathe properly. And now you just want to pause for a moment and just close your eyes. Palms always facing up. You can either have them in your lap if that's comfortable or on your knees. And we take a deep breath in and fill up the tummy really big and then breathe out slowly. And you'll just notice immediately you already are feeling more relaxed just by breathing right. You are already coming into connection with who you are and feeling all tension release from your body. And now you visualize yourself on a beautiful beach. Blue skies, water three shades of green, sand so soft, and you feel the breeze Really allow all your senses and your imagination to take you there. And while you're there, you realize there's endless possibilities. You're in complete tranquility and relaxation and peace. And there's joy in you as well. So breathe in, and as you breathe out, feel yourself coming back into your body. Feel the grass beneath you. Feel the texture of your clothing. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes. I'm already feeling a hundred times more relaxed. How good was that? That was amazing. Well, Simone, thank you so much for giving me a moment to pause and reflect. It's my absolute pleasure, Kriya. Namaste. Namaste.